Hello, welcome to Riversoft University. My name is Shelley Wolf, and today I will be going over Start of Care Part 2 Body Diagram. Today I will be showing you how to add wounds to your body diagram. On your Start of Care document, you will click on the body diagram, and here's where you'll add your wounds. As you can see here, I've added a wound in advance so you can see how a wound appears on the body diagram. The key in the upper left hand corner will give you an explanation of what the different letters mean based on what kind of wound it is. In this case we have an S which is a scar. If you click on that it will open up the small editor and it will tell you exactly the situation with that wound or scar or edema or whatever particular type of wound it is. To add a completely new wound and a wound that is receiving care, you would click on add wound slash incision. That will turn red and at that time you can apply your wound to wherever it is appropriate on your body diagram. At this point, we will go in and we will fill out the pertinent information for this wound, whether it be a pressure ulcer, if it's observable, your measurements, your stage, any of the characteristics of the wound, will be placed here as well. If there's drainage, the type of drainage and the color if necessary. The level of tissue damage, you can add a comment to this area and then you'll add your interven intervention for this wound. with the corresponding goal. Now your intervention and goal will be much more detailed than mine and I will be adding my narrative how I actually cared for this wound on this particular visit. Now I also may want to add a wound picture. If I do, I would click on wound picture. I would go to my device where I stored my picture. And add my wound picture. If I go back to the wound, you can see it's green, which means all required areas have been completed. And if you click on it again, it will pull up the editor with all that saved information. If you wish to remove a wound from your body diagram, you would simply click on the wound and click on the trash can and it will remove the wound. If you choose to remove a wound that is um, an add wound or an incision which has lots more information you will get a message to be sure that you want to remove that wound so you don't lose all that work unnecessarily so we give you an opportunity to change your mind before we just take that information away you also have an opportunity at this time to do your OASIS questions for your integumentary system while your wounds are fresh on your mind. You can do that there. You also, as you're seeing your patient, 
you will have the look back information available to you, which will actually show you your wound progression and how it's healed and um, all your narratives and anything that's changed throughout the care of that wound for that patient. Also, we have an I button available to you that gives you a very nice detailed account of how to fill out this editor as well. So that's how you fill out your body diagram on your start of care to add wounds and to add interventions. The wounds with their interventions and goals will automatically flow to your 485 for signature from your physician. And as you see, when you go to your 485 editor, if you right click on any of these boxes, it will show you that information that automatically flows from that body diagram for wounds that require treatment. And you see here, cleanse wound with normal saline, pat dry, and apply duoderm. As well as your corresponding goal Wound will be healed by 75% by 7-30-16. So by adding your information on your wound editor in your body diagram area, your intervention in your goal automatically flows to your 485 for you, for your physician. So that is the end of how to add wounds to your body diagram. Thank you and bye-bye.